All right, guys, so let's assemble our Berkey Light water purifier. Pretty simple. It's got the intake chamber. It has the water hold tank, has the base, a top cap, the two black filters we just primed, and a few components here. Okay, so first off, let's put our spigot valve in the bottom tank. Okay, the washers are conical in shape. Okay, so the cone side goes in. to make it a great seal. I'm just stretching that washer over the thread so it's nice and snug in there. You know, I'm the kind of guy that likes to over tighten everything, but with these washers, you don't need to do that. Just need a watertight seal. It's not like we have 200 pounds of pressure, you know, out here. So I'm just going to kind of line up that spigot a little bit, hand tighten that nut on the inside. Pretty good. That's about all we need to do there for now. I'm going to set that on the base. A lot of people get confused by this part. Um, it seems kind of wobbly all by itself. All you have to do is put it on the floor and snap it together. Okay. If you want it apart, Really easy to put apart, take apart. Okay, just push it together. Now I'm going to take one black filter. Again, I've washed my hands, they're really clean. I'm going to put a rubber washer that's supplied right on the base. Grab this. Use one of the supplied nuts that they give you. Then we're going to do the same thing with the other filter. Okay. So that I want fairly snug, but I don't want to break that plastic. So just be, be aware of that. Put that on there. Show you how this looks. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to switch hands real quick. be a little easier. See, I'm just tightening that nut onto the bottom of the filter. And I've put the rubber washer between the filter and this BPA-free plastic container. Nah, that's pretty tight. You might notice we have two extra holes here. One here and one here. That's okay because Bricky gives us these plugs to go in there. Put them in the hole, push and give them a little twist. All right. Now that's it for intake setup. Again, put that on top of the chamber, set it on the ground and snap it in. This here's our lid. There's a Berkey Light water purifier. You're going to be amazed at what this thing can do. Now we're going to set this Berkey water filter right on top next to our dehumidifier. All right, so we've got our dehumidifier, our water purifier, and our water catch basin down here. So the next thing I want to do is store a few gallon jugs down at the bottom here. All right, so just to go over what we've already discussed, we have our 70 pint dehumidifier, again, which is 8.75 gallons in 100% humidity. We have tapped it so the hose is coming out the back, and the hose runs down to our three gallon water container. Once that's full, or you have something in there, you can then lift that container, dump it into the top of the purifier here.
those black Berkey filters or whatever purifier you decide on will do their job. And they're going to take out all the contaminants of the water that may be in there. Okay, we just want to be safe. So then this Berkey light holds two and a half gallons. So after that's, you know, full, then we'll take our recycled water jugs that we're using. They're also BPA free. And just fill them up one gallon at a time. Okay. Once you have it filled up to about here, go ahead and grab a half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt, dump it in, put the cap back on, and shake the heck out of it. Just get that salt dissolved. What Himalayan salt is, I'll go over in a, a longer article down below and you can check that out, but essentially it adds back the 84 you know, uh, minerals that your body needs. Don't, don't be afraid to experiment, you know. Um, like I said before, I, I've got this seven gallon Aquatainer jug. There's no reason you can't substitute this seven gallon container for this three gallon container. The only downside would be some people might have a problem, you know, hefting this seven gallons up here to the top of this unit and dumping it in two and a half gallons at a time. Maybe you don't. You know, that might work out best for you. Um, something else you could do after you treat it, you could just fill up this jug. You know, and let's say you put six gallons in. So you run six gallons through the purifier, you store it in here, add three tablespoons of Himalayan salt, shake it up, might as well add one more, put it in there, your seven gallon container, add your Himalayan salt, store it. These things stack. I've seen them stack four high, eight wide, double rows. It's crazy. You can do a lot. So hope this helped guys. Thanks for checking it out and we'll see you again soon. Take care.